this Friday the 13th, which begs the question, are you superstitious? We're joined by psychologist Dr. Jody Samra. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Uh, do you know a lot of people who are superstitious? I mean, there are a lot of people out there who have those kind of superstitions. I think we're all superstitious. I think so. All of us have some kind of one or two kind of little things that we feel superstitious about. What are some of the weirdest superstitions you've heard about? Weirdest? Well, I mean, some of them are common. There's, you know, Friday the 13th, people want to stay away from floors, numbers, things that have 13 to do with it. Um, sports related, there's tons oh, yeah. of sports related like superstitions. Thing at, uh, at playoff time? Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> so we see, I mean, we see a lot of that, right? Yeah. Through, through Canucks, I mean, that's, that's one that's really common and really takes off. Um, so it's kind of like asking the meaning of life, but why are so many people superstitious? Why do we do that to ourselves? Well, you know, when you think about superstitions and, and look at the history, they've always existed. So you go way back when to the beginning of time, and every culture, every community has superstitions. And, and there's a number that are actually very, very universal. And a superstition really is a belief or a practice that we hold when we're faced with something that we can't otherwise explain. Right? And they often have to do with things like warding off illness, warding off evil, being able to prevent accidents, right? Things that we might not have control over. Um, as humans, it's really important for us to be able to get some semblance of control over circumstances in our life. So how did Friday the 13th become the focus of a superstition, do you think? Yeah, well, um, the sixth day of the week, so Friday has this, these historical origins of being kind of this foreboding day. And the number 13, I looked this up because I thought, where does this come mm. from? Um, so primitive man had has 10 fingers right. and two feet, so that's 12 units of counting. So the belief used to be that as men could not count beyond the number 12, and that anything that surpassed 12, so 13 and onwards symbolized something that was this unknown that <laughs> we didn't know about, and that's actually where 13 comes from. Interesting. Um, so yeah, you have a new show, um, and uh, it's called The uh, Million Dollar Neighborhood. It's going to yes. be on the Oprah Winfrey Network. Tell us a little bit about that. It is. So I'm hosting The Million Dollar Neighborhood. Mm -hmm. It is a social experiment um, yes. that we did in Alder Grove, BC, so born and bred here. We took a community of 100 families and worked to see if we could have them increase their collective net worth by $1 million over the course of 10 weeks. Hmm. So the show airs on Sunday, January the 22nd. And where do you, how do you come into the show? Well, I, I'm one of the hosts of the show mm -hmm. and I work with individuals on um, understanding the kind of psychology part. And you think about it, money is, there's so much um, emotionally that's tied to our relationship with money. Mm -hmm. um, it evokes lots of feelings for us. Um, and we think about where our beliefs about money come from, it's in, family of origin issues, things that we saw in our family. We get all of these associations and it's all emotional and psychological, hmm. right? The principles are simple, um, spend less, save more, right? And then you think, so why do so many Canadians struggle with this issue? Yep. It's because of all the other emotional psychology stuff, things that we want, um, you know, needs, desires that might trump what we otherwise know. Um, okay. Well, yeah. thank you so much for coming in, telling us a little bit about uh, Friday the 13th and your show, and good luck. It's so th this uh, premieres in in this month? It premieres Sunday, January the 22nd, okay. 5 p.m. Pacific time good on the Oprah Winfrey Good Network. to see a Lower Mainland community highlighted. That's great. Thanks for coming in, uh, Dr. Jody Samra. Appreciate it.